Hey guys, it's May May and we are live. How is everyone today? Come on in. Um, we're right on time. I was going to say we're a little bit early, but I tried to push the button and realized I hadn't done what I was supposed to do to my phone and that messes us up. So I have. I want to say real quick for those who are watching the replay, the, the live videos, we do the craft first. And then if there's any questions, we hold them till the end of the video. So if you want to see the craft, we're going to do the craft first. You don't have to stick around for a lot of chit chat and stuff like that. And then if you do want to, you can see that at the end. Now, you might want to stick around today to the end. And the reason is we are announcing the winner of the t-shirt contest. Um, actually, three winners. If y'all remember, there was a first, second, and third place winner. So we'll be announcing that today at the end. And I'll show you the ones that won as well. So... And we hopefully will have some new product to show you by the end. We're just hoping for FedEx. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Waiting on the FedEx. Hoping for Man. FedEx. Waiting on FedEx. So we're going to make something that I kind of discovered by accident. I don't believe this is my original idea, but I don't know whose idea it is. Because here's what happened. Yesterday, I was working on making a mini album for our um, cruise that's coming up. Or I'm working on the class for the cruise that's coming up. One of the classes. And while I was doing it, I was working on something like this. And let me show you what this is. This is going to be like a little mini album, right? So it opens like this. And then it opens again. So you end up with pictures here. And then it opens here, okay? And then you also have the back side to load with pictures. Here's how it was an accident. I was going to just see how this would work because there's another mini album you can make. And if y'all want me to, I'll show you both ways. There's another one you can make that has smaller um, pages that's very similar to this and I did this and stopped and went wait a minute this will work so this is what we're gonna work on and I've got some photos from grand opening that we're gonna put in there today I thought that'd be fun and I can make a really quick um, grand opening photo album so that should be super fun I left my scoreboard across the room so I'm picking it up take your time my man. we have plenty of time I'm sorry I said that I just kind of I did not clean I did not prep either apparently so all right here is our school board. The first thing I need to do is trim away this piece of paper. By the way, this piece of paper is from the, uh, what's it called? Wedding Bliss Pack. It's from this pack. I'm going to be using a lot of packs of things today. A lot of just stuff. I like to kind of do that when I do mini albums. Just go through my stuff. So, I'm going to trim this little strip off. And one thing I'll caution you on, some paper companies, um give you more than 12 inches of paper when you have to trim these off so it might be good to go ahead and open the arm of your trimmer out and just lay it to 12 inches um let me see if this one did this one's dead on 12 inches but i know graphic 45 and some of the other companies out there are a little more generous on that end so you might want to just measure it look how pretty this is i felt this was pretty neutral oh by the way vinny's here yeah, I, I think they are aware. I totally ignored that you were here today. So, Vinny's here. But see how neutral this is? I thought this would be really cool no matter what my pictures look like. So, which side is easier? This side. I'm going to score on this side. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is decide about my pattern. And since my pattern lays here, I want my pages to go... It doesn't matter. This pattern is neutral. Because, look, I can turn it this way and it still looks good. So, it doesn't matter. So, we're just going to do it just like this. So, don't worry about keeping up with measurements and things like that. They'll be in the blog post that we'll post afterwards, okay? All right, I'm taking my embossing um, stylus, and I'm going to score this at six inches all the way down. <clears throat> all the way down the page from top to bottom. I know I'm off screen a little bit, but I did. Now, I'm going to turn this one time in the scoreboard, and now we're going to score it at four and at eight. This can't get any easier, honestly. Even Vince could make this album. What? What? She threw him under the bus. <laughs> Now then, I'm going to fold those long um, score marks I did, the four and the eight, because I want to be able to see where they are. So there's one side, I'm going to fold the other one back. Really doesn't matter, because we're going to be folding this in all different directions in a minute. But I wanted to be able to see them. Now I can see my middle score, which way is easier for you to see, neither. Let me fold it too, so you can keep up with what I'm doing. All right. So now we have everything folded where it should be. And what we're going to do, okay, from one end, doesn't matter which end, unless your pattern is specific, this doesn't matter for me, you're going to cut from one edge past one score line to the next score line, okay? I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to show you. So let's go right here. And I'm just going to slice. You can do this with your paper trimmer. That's not a problem. But I have these big, long Tim Holtz shears that I love so much. 
and they work perfect for this kind of so stuff. Those are nine and a half inch ones? Yeah, these are the big long ones. I love them. The big ones. Mm -hmm. All right, so we basically made a pair of pants. <laughs> Don't laugh, look. It's pants. Doesn't it look like pants? Well, um, I would wear pants in this pattern. It's beautiful. <laughs> I was waiting. I had to look at Vince's face. Okay, here's what we're going to do now. I kept a pretty straight face. You did, but you know I'd wear them. <laughs> All right. PJ's done, done. All right, I'm gonna crease one down here. Okay, so I just folded one back. Then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna crease it back on itself. So we're basically accordion folding this one side, right? Then I'm gonna pick this guy up and fold it down. Okay, so we're working with one piece and now we're gonna continue our accordion fold. This will go back. Don't worry, I'll open this up and we'll do it one more time and this will close. Okay, so now we're working with what will be a little book. It's not a perfect book because you do have this section that kind of opens funny, but you know, it's kind of fun. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you again how we did it. Do you wanna see the smaller version? Because I can show you that with another piece of paper real quick if you wanna see the smaller version. All right, so 12 by 12, okay. Um, cut down the middle and I just accordion fold, accordion fold, flip it over, accordion fold, accordion fold. Good deal. Did anybody say they wanted to see the smaller or they're okay with this? Yes, we want to see it. Let me just show you because it's super quick and easy. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper. Let's see. I want something you guys can see really well, which is always a struggle with pattern paper. Um, let's use some old Valentine paper. This ought to be able to see well. Um, not that one. That one was really busy. Uh, I'm just going to do it. You'll just have to go with me. All right. I'm going to trim this little edge off of my 12 by 12 paper here. This is actually a really cute piece to do this with because it's really, that would be super cute to have for Valentine's gifts, little mini albums. All right. So here's how you do this one. So easy. Okay. I'm going to put this into my scoreboard. All right. This is the one that's going to get you a smaller size and more pages. I'm going to score it at, um, Hold on a second. I'm gonna score it at three. I'm gonna score it at six. And I'm gonna score it at nine. Sorry, three, six, and nine. Is that right? Yes. All right, then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna score it at three, at six, and at nine. I have not made one of these in a long time. I'm doing this from memory, so I hope I'm doing it right, to be honest with you. You did have a question about is it possible to make it with four by so it would hold four by six photos? Yeah, mine will. When we get to mine, you'll see. Um, this one I just did will hold four by six, but I'm going to show you what I did because I'm not going to use four by six. All right, so now I've got all that. It's a grid. It's just a scored grid. You can't see it. I want you to be able to see it, so I'm going to marker it. I'm going to marker all of my score marks so you can see what I'm doing. I think it will help. So it's three, six, nine. 369, that mini album's mine. There you go. How about it? Oh, I got excited and got off my line. Any questions before I get to the cutting part? Nope, I already asked the question that was asked. About Good deal. Four by six photos. All right, so now you can you see the grid, can. right? Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to slice this one to here, okay? We're going to slice this middle line to here, okay? We're going to slice this line to here. Now, I hope that will help us to understand it. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to slice up on the score line. So slice in the ditch up to that third square. Like so. Got it? Okay. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to slice this middle up to the third square. Uh, just like so. Slice in the ditch of the score. In other words, we're not cutting this, we're not cutting the score mark away. We're just slicing to the middle. And then we're gonna go right here and slice up to the third one. All the way up to that one. So this way you kind of did this. See that? Cool, right? Now we're going to accordion. I'm going to do this kind of quick because this is not the one we're showing today. I want us to get to the other one. I'm doing the bigger one. And I'm just going to accordion that and then turn it under and then accordion over. Accordion, accordion. When you get to a fold, you turn it under. 
and then you accordion and accordion and accordion and then fold it under and then accordion and accordion and accordion so this is how i came up with the bigger version this is one that i learned years and years and years ago i mean forever ago so this way you get this little mini album you can put photos in here like this right and then you can flip it and you can look at other photos and you can look at other photos and it just goes all over the place okay this one when folded should be three by three squares not with the centimeter side yep three by three squares and you can feel the front and the back so you had three no it was four right yeah four by four so you have 16 squares but what size bianca asked what size photo could you put on that you can put anything under three by three I yeah guess, right? three by three is what it'll hold and you can do like instagram photos it's super cute look and then you can put a little belly band or a bow it'd be super cute also this one um holds i think 32 photos right yeah but two sides it'll hold 32 pics you can put your whole instagram feed on there it'd be cute that's the baby one okay let's talk about this let's talk about this dude so this one is four by six all right so if you do this one you're gonna be you could put your photos on here it ends up being four by six but i'm gonna show you what i did to be a little bit different and i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit all right so i printed out a bunch of pictures from my dad took these pictures at grand opening so you might see yourself on here so <laughs> um a lot of photos look how good this photo is vince look at you guys look at you and dad look that's Vinny, my husband that's my friend thad that's my dad back there that's my aunt you see who that is that's aunt jan see that and, and this is jj thad's wife i love looking at, okay so there's a photo so what i did was i took four by six photos but i cut them down to five and a half i keep doing that with that ruler to five and a oh five and a quarter on this one i think i did some five and a half but five and a quarter by three and a half that way up uh, that's Charlotte's mom. Charlotte, did you see you? Okay, that way I can put them right on here. And most of the time with your four by six photos, you can trim some length out. Emily's gonna love that I'm showing her and Noah and Briella. Um, but you can trim some length down. See that? So even with the four by six, there's usually a little bit we can cut away to get more to the focal point, right? All right, so I love that. We're gonna glue these in. But before I glue those in, I wanna show you something else I did. By the way, I printed these on cardstock. I don't have any photo paper, so I just printed on cardstock. Is that a faux pas? What do you think? Well, I thought they looked pretty decent. I thought they're so not too. glossy, shiny, but that's not who you are anyway. Nope, they're not. I love matte finish. This, yeah, it was Amanda. This is my cover. I made this myself to put on the top. Look how cute, right? And it's cardstock, and I just went into um, my pages program, which is the same as a, a word program, and I just printed this out, and I thought it was cute. I trimmed it with my paper trimmer, but there's a little bit of white edge right here I didn't get. I'm gonna come back and trim that off, just to be clean. It really didn't show when I laid it down. I'm probably being overly critical here. So, well. <laughs> Louise said that's a photo paw. It's a photo paw, instead of a faux paw. Get it? There you go. It's a <laughs> I'm going to stop there. Okay. Because <laughs> I should. <laughs> All right. So this I'm going to glue to the front. And this is going to be my cover. But I want to make sure that's the front. I want it to go this way. So the question is, should I put it, Vince, should I put it on the frilly pattern side? Or should I put it on the, oh, polka dot dot. Well, based on your reaction, <laughs> I'm going to go the frilly side. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Ha, ha, polka ha. Polka dice. Polka we got to turn it around because I want to use the polka dot. So I'm just turning my folds around. <laughs> yeah, I liked it on the dots too. It's so funny. Look, it's so cute. I love it. I thought All right. that was pretty good on my You're part. hilarious. Jeez. You need your own show. I don't know. Somebody should start something called Vinny's Vittles. Somebody should. It. People might watch your channel. You guys, he has over 2,000 subscribers. He is doing really well. I'm not saying I'm jealous. Okay, so <laughs> this, oops. I gotta turn it the right way. It's upside down. It's upside down. It's gonna get glued right here. And look, y'all. Oh, she's too dang cute. I plan to put this out like in the front so people can look at it. Won't that be cute? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. idea. I think it'll be cute. Now, if you were here and you don't see yourself on these photos, I was not taking photos that day. I just grabbed all I could get, and my dad took a whole bunch. So now I'm gonna head up here. 
Let's put Amanda in. You wanna put Amanda in first? You might as well. Let's put Amanda in. She's gonna be so mad because I said Amanda. <laughs> You want to make it really bad. Don't do it. Do not do that to her because once people hear what she doesn't like, they're going to say it. Don't do it. Just be a Christian, Vince. <laughs> All right. Glue on the back of this picture. By the way, I'm using this, but we could totally use sticky tape for this. But I love using our glitter glue because it's quick. But I can show y'all how I would use sticky tape. Do you want to see that? Or is, art litter, art, is that pretty much self-explanatory? Look how good. This is my friend from Montgomery. She came up to visit us. It was nice. So many of you guys. I hope you can see everybody. Okay. So then let's let's put Emily in. <laughs> Emily, by the way, Emily see what is Amanda said. Uh uh, not a good, not idea. A good idea. <laughs> Emily, by the way, is teaching cricket classes here in our location. She does beautiful work with the cricket. You guys should see the classes that are available. And when you sign up for one of Emily's classes, your supplies come with it. All you bring is your Cricut and whatever device it is you run your Cricut with, laptop, iPhone, iPad, whatever. And Emily's teaching. And when you leave, you take home a completed project. You gotta go see them. If you're looking for a good class and you're in our area, you guys need to come check out Emily's classes. All right, so now I'm gonna load this up, but I'm gonna keep loading like this so when it opens, all the photos lay correctly. Does that make sense? So, I'm going to move this up and we're going to put two photos down here. Try to stay in screen, but I'm trying to stay close. So, I'm going to save this one for the back because it's a little bit smaller. This was in the make and take room when Aunt Dottie was teaching cards. So, she was teaching how to make cards. Let's put this one down. Super cute. Any questions for me? You can ask any time, Vince, because I'm going to be gluing for a minute. We're doing good. Good. All right, well, I did trim one. Ask about you know Beanie's vittles. They didn't really mention anything about you yet. <laughs> I did trim one a little um, smaller. I might have needed to cut something off. I don't know. In the background is the muscle. There he is. There's the muscle. There's the new girl Rachel. <laughs> and this is a door prize winner. How about that, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I printed these from the computer on cardstock. I did set my printer to best. That's important. So set your printer to best if you're going to do this. So that does get you the best quality photo you can get Especially how on cardstock. how super fast would this be for a gift for somebody you're heading out the door this is one sheet of paper okay one sheet and you are just you know one and done that's what we could call this album the one and done album super easy more glue and put this one down this is going to be cute to look at i'm going to enjoy this who is everybody? Do you guys recognize yourself? Say in the comments if you see yourself in photos. That'll be nice. You don't have. You can just be like me, and you don't have to point out who you were, right? This would be awesome for like um, when you do a baby shower for somebody and you take photos at the baby shower. You know how we're pretty good about leaving them on social media and not printing them out. But how fun would this be to give to a mommy or a bride? like at the wedding to show her baby shower, like to have this little thing to show people. All right, I'm gonna flip this out. Right, let me close it first because I want to see how I want to lay out the next side. So there's one side filled, okay? So what I want to do on the next side, lay it like this. Let's start at the bottom. There we go, and I'm gonna put a picture here. And I want to put Thad and JJ and Vince on the back. I like that one. So, glue this down. Looks like there's an elephant in the room. I'm gonna say something about it. You are getting a sneak peek of the Stamp Club today, but it might not be during this live. Whenever FedEx gets here, I will film it or live it or whatever. I can come back live if you want me to with it. Doesn't matter, but once we have it in our hands, we'll do it. Um, as soon as we get it. I don't, I, don't, I don't keep that stuff secret from you guys long. As soon as we get it, we show it. All right, here we go. I'm going to add this one. This is my Aunt Nita doing a demo for some folks. She was doing Misty demo. Yep, she was teaching the Misty. That was a cool one. Glue this one right here. I might need more than one of these. You know, I could do two pages and connect them together and have a big, big, huge one. That would be cool, wouldn't it? All right, let's move this one over. Vince is reading. Because <laughs> I said I something and he didn't answer me. <laughs> He's not just ignoring me. He's reading. Well, I'm trying to answer questions. All right, I'm going to look through and see what I want to put in here next. I think I want more of the make and take. This is a great photo of the make and take. See all the stamps in the middle and everything where they were working? Super fun. Lots of smiling faces. Let's put that one in. 
But you know, we could totally extend this with, by adding another piece of paper to it. Think about that. I may have to try that sometime. If y'all want me to try it, I will. I know you might be interested because we could, you know, attach it here and I bet we could get an even bigger one. I just think we could. You can do so much with paper. It's amazing. I got a lot more paper uh, pictures than I have space, but I'll show you all. There's Charlotte. Let's put her in there. Let's put her in there. She earned her spot. You reckon, Vinny? Does Charlotte get to be right I in the album? Does, yeah. Oh, you didn't show what she gave you. We'll show Thursday. We need to get that out and show what she gave you for the kitchen. It's cool. All right. All right, I'll try that for another video. And she had fun trying to stump us with her gift, too. She did. She stumped me. I'm not going to say what I thought it was. There's one picture with me in it. Should I put that one in? I don't see one on it. She... Oh, this is a better picture. I mean, not of the people. The people look great. <laughs> the people look awesome. It's me. But look at this one. It's kind of the whole store. Should I put that in? Because it's kind of the whole. That looks good. I'm going to have to make another one anyway. <laughs> so. Yeah. Do y'all want me to try to make it bigger and show it to you Thursday? I can do that. I don't have anything on the slate for Thursday yet. I'll be happy to do it. It shouldn't be too hard to extend it. I might could make it good and big, you know? I could make this like, I mean, if I was able to extend it, we'd have a whole nother row here for sure. All right, I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit because you're a little bit tied there. All right, and now let's close it all up and see what we get. This closes, this closes, this, this. Look, guys, look how stinking cute this is. And you can flip it like this, but remember you can open it, like whenever you go to show it to friends and family, just open it out and look at that. I love it. That was super easy. Now, I was going to show you. I'm thinking about doing this, too. I don't know. Let me see. I kind of don't think I need to, but I kind of would. I think it would be neat. All right, hold on. So, I save all of my stickers from my um, pages that I get. You know, anytime I get those paper packs and they have the stickers in the back, I save them. And I thought it might be cute to kind of find some stickers to add here and there. And I got a bunch of them. A bunch. Let me see. Ooh, this is a cute one. Let's see what we can do with this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I love to save the stickers because I'm all about the stickers. All right, so do I want to, I know what I'll do. I'll cut the bottom here, make it a little smaller, like so. Ooh, I'm going to use that too because it's cute. I'm going to come right here where Amanda is. And right here, I'm going to put this sticker that says the best of times. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, y'all can't even see what I'm doing. Vinny, fuss at me. Look, I cut this bottom part off. Did they even see it at all? Yeah, you can see it there. I cut the bottom of that sticker off. See that? And I think I'm going to put it, the other part, up here like it's wrapped around. I think that'll be cute. Shame on you, Vinny, for letting me be out of camera. Oh, I thought she was saying shame on me for telling Kim Maxwell I was ignoring her for using <laughs> that foul language on the screen. So, look, we just put a little embellishment on that one. Let's find another embellishment. Let's bring some over. And... Um, dun, 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 dun. They can't be too huge because I want the pictures to show a good bit. But you'll be surprised what you can find in your stickers. Um, oh, this is cute. Think happy thoughts. Let's see if we can find a place to put that. That's cute. And the colors don't match. And I don't care. Do you know why I don't care? Because in the photos, there's so many colors that when you, like, look right here. Let me show you. So these people are crafting, so you know they're thinking happy thoughts, right, in this picture. See the pink in her shirt? Is anybody crying? No. We, they're so crying and crafting. So look, the pink in her shirt, when I put this down, and the shirt underneath is going to help that to pop, so I don't even have to worry about colors. You guys are getting quite a mini album lesson today. I'm not worried about colors at all because it's going to work. Even though I started with a totally different um, color page. Look how cute. All right, let's work on this one. This, These two right here, I know they're family, and this one says family time. I'm totally going to put this right here on this blank spot of this um, signature wall because they're spending some family time together here at Meme Made It. Cute. Yeah? What does this say? This says, it's not what we have in life, but who we, ha but who we have in life that matters. <gasps> That's cute. I'm going to find a spot for it. <laughs> flip it around, flip it around. Oh, it's going here. Over you and Thad and JJ. I love it. And I'm putting it at an angle. And as long as it sticks down, we're good. That is so cute. Look. <laughs> I love it. Very good. See how you can just go through. Then I'm still working on this same one. Pretty much. 
oh, these are so cute. This little strip has a lot of cute little sayings. So let's see what we can put up here. This is what life's all about. My heart is full. I want to use the whole strip. Can I do that? No, it'll close it up, but I can snip it. Let's snip it, right? Let's snip. I'm not afraid to snip these things. So this one says, um, where do I want to put them? I don't know. I have to just kind of look. This is cute. I like that up there. Precious. Let's even put one on the other side. What? Yeah, it is like a little mini scrapbook just with cardstock. Oh, here's a good spot because this is kind of a blank area of my photo. So I'll put it there. And anything that hangs off, just trim it away. No big deal. Done. I love this. I hope you guys try this because this one is super fun. All right, let's see what else we got for um, stuff. And you could always do some little journaling tabs if you wanted to write something specific. You could do, I'm looking at stickers. Let me bring them over so you're not bored. So, adventure, crazy monkey into the wild. Oh, here's you rock. Just be brave. Best friends, adventure. Let me find where I can put adventure. Let's just see. What what part of the day was an adventure? Oh, stamp, the card making was probably an adventure. Let's put it down here. Because some people made cards for the first time that day. I happen to know that. I'm loving this little guy. Vince, what do you think? Is it just me? This is going to be a nice little keepsake for our desk. Uh, jungle fun? <laughs> I don't know where I put that one. There's the wild side adventure. Here we go. Hello there. Let's see if we can find this. Um, I know. Let me go back to it for a second. Hello there. I'm going to put it right here. And it's right over Dave the muscle's head. Because he's sneaking. Look. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> too cute i'm gonna stop there you could totally put a sticker on every page that would be not hard to do and there we go i love it do you guys like it just look how cute this is so you can do this and then close it and then you can do this right and then you can close it and then you can do this you can just go crazy with it i love it i hope you guys enjoyed i think it's super easy super cute and you can do this for so many things and you know what else you could do you know all those cool stickers they sell at like walmart and stuff those joe lee's or whatever you could totally fill this full of it um yes okay they want to see how to slow it how to fold it slowly okay let me zoom out again so you guys can see that's in amy okay so here's the whole thing now when we did the first score remember we just had the middle part slid up the middle and this is the front page so I'm going to fold it down and up like this. So it closes up this side. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I can close up this side and then I can just fold it in half. And now my book is all done. I love it. I think it turned out super cute. I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it. How about you, Ben, ben Meister? Hey, as far as I'm concerned, it looks pretty dang cute. I think it is a home run, but I do think I need to do more of these. <laughs> so, once the live is over with and you go back to the beginning, all of the step-by-step um, -step will happen in the video at the beginning. So, we did this in 28 minutes, including photos and embellishments. And we will have the um, the measurements and stuff on the blog for you. And Thursday, I'll, I'll do a bigger one if you want me to do a bigger one because I still have some photos. And actually, I actually have more photos I didn't print. I told you I would show you all these. This is me and our sweet visitors. And this is Aunt Anita when she's doing the Misty demo. I don't know if I printed the picture out. I'll tell you about that. This is Emily talking about Cricut. This is Aunt Dottie's make and take room. She was doing make and takes in here with the ladies. This is our sweet shoppers buying all kinds of goodies and putting them in their baskets. And this is the team behind the desk. Look at Rachel. She's like, please don't show this photo of me, Mame. <laughs> Here's Josh. That's Aunt Judy and Mom. This is Vince's dad right there how cool well i'm having to look at them on your computer screen so i can't really tell i will hand them to you thank you i love it here you can look at this one too see how you like the album i think it's super cool all right so got to show you this one i'll do the bigger one thursday that'll be the plan i got to show you this because this is brand new in stock it just came in yesterday this one's called born again by the greeting farms uh, greeting farm and look at those butterflies i know you guys are loving butterflies right now so check these out they are um in store now ready to go if they're not let me know and we'll make sure they are and then we have an exciting announcement let me see how i've got these laid out i feel like the envelope please 
Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I might be sad. Let me see him. Flip around, please. Not that. <laughs> Why would you be sad? Because I think I think something didn't go like I wanted it to. So let me see it. No, we're good. Okay. So let me show you that the new stamp is in. Do I make them wait till after the winter? Okay. <laughs> All right. I have the t-shirt winner to announce, and I also have the new sneak peek stamp. I'm in love with this stamp. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> I want to show it right now. Okay, I'm gonna now this is not in the store yet. I'm gonna show you this one. This is not in the store yet. It will be this afternoon. You guys have been asking and asking for a wedding stamp. And here's what I came up with, and I think it's super cool. This one is called His and Hers, mostly because it focuses on and, okay? So you see all the and signs, and then you got the rings, and you got the word and. So you've got, and here's another and. I gave you three different sizes of the ampersand, okay? So you get um, together, always, forever, to have, to hold, today, now. So you can mix these up, okay? But my favorite part of this whole stamp set is this bow right here because this bow is going to go across an A2 size card which I don't have right here um, and it will go across a six by six let me get um, let me get my ruler so I can show you I made sure it was long enough to go on your mat like when you do a six by six mat which the top mat is a five and a quarter no five and three quarters that's what you'll be able to do with this put it across a five and three quarter mat and an A2 card easy this is not club I told you this one's in the store after the video. We'll put it in the store. But look how cute these are. I love them. I was excited for these to get here. And, uh oh. What is this? Oh, it's an A2 size card. She's so good. Amanda brought in an A2 size card base. She's awesome. Here's an A2 base. And look how that'll fit across. Isn't that awesome? And look at that. It'll fit across. So you can use it on your A2s. I love it. Not the club set. I'm going to show you the club set in a second. But I want to stamp it out. So I'm going to make you wait one second while I announce the winners of the t-shirts. Because I want to stamp it out. Okay? So, we had a t-shirt contest. And we have three winners. The first winner, we're going to make... They get two... Everybody gets two t-shirts from the designs that were chosen of the winners. Okay? And they also get different gift cards from the store. Okay? So, our first winner is Adri, I hope I said it right, or Adri, okay? And she made, she designed this shirt. The front says, May May made it, and so, and you can too. Now, I'm just gonna let you know up front that I'm gonna fix the May May, because my name is one word. So I am gonna fix that, but don't, don't stress, we'll be all right. So I'm gonna fix the one word, but it'll look like this on the front, and on the back, she would like it to say, May May made it, and so did I. So it's May May made it, and you can too. And on the back it says, May May made it, and so did I. That's our first place winner. Way to go. I should have gone backwards, huh? But I didn't. Okay, this is our second place winner. And I gotta be honest, I'm totally loving this shirt. This is from Tanya Rose. Um, and it says, I'm not gonna stress about it. Hashtag, I'm a made it. I love it. I think it's super, awesome. super cute. So I'm excited to get this one done too. By the way, she gets two free t-shirts with her design plus a $100 gift card to the store. Um, Tanya gets two free t-shirts with her design and a $50 gift card to the store. And then our third place winner, which is super cute too. I might have to bring it up real close. All right. So on the front side, this is Gloria McCoy who won, um, what'd she win? $25 gift card to the store? I could be wrong about that. I may have these numbers wrong, but I'll, you'll know because we had it on the contest. But the front says, I'm a, and it's got my face, May Mays made it on the front. And then on the back, it's got May May's rules. And they say, I'm not going to stress about it. I don't do perfect. Less is more. Have fun. It's only paper. So how cute is that, right? So Gloria gets two t-shirts of this design and her gift card to the store, which I forgot how much it is. I'm trying to hurry so y'all can see because I know y'all want to see it, but I want to stamp it out. I'm going to open it like this and like stress you guys out. Thank you so much for your hard work on designing those t-shirts. And we will be contacting you about prizes and about details for getting the shirts completed and stuff. Let me get some paper, some cardstock. Are you all holding your breath? Because I am. Did y'all feel the train? <laughs> Don't say she felt that train come through. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this set so much. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is the club set. This is the set that goes out at the beginning of the month. It ships out on the 6th, and I show you the sneak peek on the 6th, okay? Um... Gosh, they're going to be mad at me, but we should cut the, this off and come back to do this, you think? 
No, Keep going? Doing. Okay, I'm gonna do a separate one to do it again. So anyway, so this is the sneak peek. This is the club set that if you are already a member of the club will come to you, okay? You had to be a member by the end of May. If you signed up by the end of the May, end of the May, then this is the set that comes to you, okay? <sighs> Ready? Here we go. I'm in love. This is totally inspired by my Aunt Nita, okay? I did not tell her this the other day. I showed her this, but I didn't tell her this. We had a card party one time, and she made us cards with stitching. She stitched the whole cards up. They had, like, all this stitching all over them. And I was like, how cute would that be? So, I've noticed some people doing a lot of cross-stitch stuff on cards, and I thought, well, I'm going to try this because I think this will work, and I love it. So, let me tell you what's on here. I'm going to point with my little pointer here. So, this first one says, happily ever after, and it's all stitchy, and I'm going to bring it up and show you all the detail. This one says, happy birthday. This one says, welcome by itself, okay? I have the word baby down here by itself, so if you want to do welcome baby, you can, or you can use welcome for anything, all right? This one says, home sweet home. I am I love this. This just looks homey to me. Then just because, everybody needs a just because stamp set, and I thought in stitches it would be so cute. Happy anniversary. How many times are you going to make an anniversary card, right? Here are two stitches. So if you want to stitch the side of your card or anything, you can just use these stitches and just go anywhere you want with them. This is a little cross stitch heart, okay? And this is XOXOXO because I thought that had to happen in there. Now, the best part, okay? If you have, um, if you don't care for anything else on this thing, on this set, you can use all these borders for everything, okay? So these borders for me have to go with these stitches. So let's stamp these out real quick or at least stamp a lot of them because we have been oh we got a little while we got a few minutes let me smell Carol them first. said you can oh. do welcome home yes you can because you can you have two options okay you can cut this away and use it separate and put it back that is no problem or you can um what's called selectively stamp or mask off totally do that. The reason I didn't do these separate is because some people struggle with getting things lined up that I've heard you guys and I'm I'm trying not to do that to you all the time, okay? But I'm going to I'm going to try to help you as much as I can when I can. So that's why a lot of these are connected. Cuz a lot of people tell me I love that I can do so much with them, but sometimes I don't line them up very well. All right. So, a little versifying. I'm so excited. You guys are seeing me stamp this for the very first time. I'm super excited about it. Oh, my word, guys. Look. Look at that. Oh, is it focusing? Is it clear? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Ha <gasps> ha I gotta get my clean, my little scrubby thing. Ha ha ha. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so loving it. I can't sing those songs because I might get a copyright strike. <laughs> well, what you sang, they won't recognize. I'm so loving it. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it, love it. Let's keep going. All right, so that's Home Sweet Home. How about Happy Birthday? I'm going to use a different block, too, because that way I'll show you how you can use it all over the place. So, here's this little block. Happy birthday. I think it's raining outside. Do you hear that? It very well could be. It's been raining for a month, it feels like. Happy birthday. I shouldn't sing that one either because I think it's copyrighted. <laughs> Everything's copyrighted nowadays. Okay. So, there's happy birthday. And let me clean this off. Amanda said it's pouring. Oh, it is raining then. We could hear it. And then let's do um, this one I love. Now, listen, you can mix this with the new um, bride stamp set, the new one that's called um, His and Hers, because this one says Happily Ever After. Oh, you could mix it. Ink it up. Stamp it down. Happily Ever After. Yes, the shirts are going to go on sale. I just happened to look up and see that question. The shirts will go on sale once we have them all created. Um, and that way you can have them if you want to wear them on the cruise or anything like that. So, is Amanda putting those in the store now? Is she putting the um, his and hers? Can you ask her? She'll answer you because she's watching. Well, she's watching, so I'm sure now that you're saying it. Well, I mean, I might miss her answer is what I'm saying. Okay. This one is just because. Are you guys loving these? I love these so much. Oh. I cut my stamps apart too. If I need this word or that word, I am not afraid to cut them apart because you can stick them right back on your acrylic block. I don't have an issue with it, but some people do, right? 
Look at that. Oh, so cute. Clean it. Put it back. And Brazil then, asked, do all the stamp sets come with download SVG files? Not all of them. Any that I think especially need a way to cut them out or something like that, those will. Like this does not come with an SVG file. Not all of them. If they do, I always let you know. I'm always, I always make sure that I let you know and where to get it. All right, this one is happy anniversary. I didn't get the middle ink good on that one. Let's do it. Press that down. Look at that. I'm in love with this. In love. <laughs> cleaning, cleaning it. All right, and then I need to do welcome and baby. I can do them at the same time. Four. Jennifer said it's 96 degrees at 1030 in Phoenix, Arizona. Goodness. She said she wouldn't mind some rain. We got plenty lately. We get a lot of rain here. Well, I mean, it depends, I guess, but we've had a lot lately. So I'm going to put those close together. Pick them up on a block. Ink them up. I'm off screen inking, but I'm inking. And then come right here and do welcome, baby. I smeared that one totally. Well, not too bad. I felt like I did. So there's that. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let me clean this and put it back. Sit this right here to clean it. I'm cleaning it left-handed today on this one anyway. So, put this one back. This one back. All right, I'm gonna show you the, um, the borders, but I may have to use, I don't think I have my big, let me see if I do, let me see if I have my big, um, my big Fiskars block right here at me. I think I took it in yonder. Did I take it in yonder? I think I did. I may have to use my Misty to stamp it. I might have to. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so I got this because I want to show you the borders. I bet I can show you at the top there. And let me cut some paper so we can do that. There we go. All right. Put the paper in like so. Let me grab a half inch scissors. We'll cut up these paper pretty quick. Though. I love those scissors. You're pretty fascinated by them too, aren't you? A little bit. I can tell the way you discuss them. <laughs> finer than frogs hair. What's finer than frogs hair? I gotta zoom out. There we go. All right, so here's one of our border pieces and they're super long. Look how long it is. Super long. I tried to do that on purpose. I wanted you to be able to use them all over the place. So this is the little scallop with poke little hole, like little dots, kind of like a vintage, um, kind of doily kind of feel to it. I don't know how to explain that one really. Let me get this paper. I cut this paper so crooked. <laughs> this paper's like, lady, if you had cut me straight, you wouldn't have this issue. There we go. All right. And let's ink it up. I love VersaFine for border stamps and you can use colored VersaFine, but VersaFine ink does a beautiful job on these thicker um, images. This is onyx black and it's beautiful. Press it in good. Look at that, y'all. We're gonna be able to use this. So I can't wait to show you some cards. I've got some cards in my head about, you know, using these because I kind of, as I design things, I try to do that. So I've got some ideas. So I can't wait to show you. Now I'm gonna clean this with a wet wipe just because it's kind of how I do things when I use the Misty. And I gotta tell y'all something. I had somebody, and this was so interesting that this happened. I had somebody stamping and she was cleaning with a wet wipe. Well, sometimes when you clean with a wet wipe, it can leave some um, like lint behind. If that happens, just take a piece of tape and just pick up that lint. So the next time you stamp it, you don't have any lint on there. You'll, you'll find that happens pretty regular with wet wipes. They just do. So if that happens to you, just uh, try that little tape trick. It's a pretty good one. All right. The next one is so pretty. This one reminds me of like a doily. I think this is gorgeous. So, I'm going to lay right. Nope, this is right. And look, guys, you can bend your borders. Look, you can do anything you want to with them. Did you realize you could bend stamps, Vince? Did you ever think about that? I did not know that. I you have can. This. You can curve it around something, or you can do all kinds of stuff with them. Let's ink this dude up. Tap, 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 tap. Press. I didn't ink that good. I can see that there's no ink right there, but oh well, I'm just showing you. <gasps> Look at that border. It's so cute. 
I love it. So cute. And I'll check and see if they'll fit. I didn't pick up the mini because I wanted to be able to do the whole thing, but I'll check in just a second. All right. Let me get another one. And this one is even more dainty. It's really dainty. It's so pretty. I love these borders. All right, let's pick it up. Let's go move my paper because it's brand new and sticky. Kim Maxwell asked the question, will the creative corners work in the stamp perfect? In my experience, no, because they are too thick. I don't actually, the stamp perfect has a thicker cushion piece. It's thicker and firmer, this piece is. And so the um, corners stick out a little bit. And so it won't lay flat with the corner in it. So in my experience, no. Look at that pretty border. So pretty, so pretty. Love it. Clean that ink off. All right, one more border. This is the original Misty. I saw that question real fast. This is the original size, but I will, I'll check the mini in just a second. Let's do one more. Or we only have one more border. And the only thing I didn't stamp on this one then is gonna be the little um, heart and the little X and O's and stuff. I, this might be my favorite one. I like bold graphic, so. <laughs> yep, I like that one. I like bold and graphic designs like that. That looks really cool. All right, let's test it in the mini. Because that was a question. Peel that off of there. I'm just gonna leave this in here. Boy, I have a lot to clean up in here, don't I? Hey, well, yeah. Here's another tip for you guys. Don't lay your stamp set, your stamps down with the flat side on your work surface. I learned this the hard way. If you're gonna put a stamp down on your work surface, it's got a lot of dirt and lint, make sure the sticky for the acrylic block side is up. Okay, don't lay it down. It picks up all the lint and junk. Don't want to do that. I was using that stamp earlier, so I need to put that in here. So, yes, they do fit in here. Yes, you can use them in your mini. Yep. Good deal. All right. That's a happy accident. Mm, because of the A2 card, it pretty much would work. So, all right. Any more questions? Did we get everything? Here is the Stamp of the Month Club set. We're, these will go out today. And, any, and late this afternoon, they'll be in the store for extras. So anybody that wanted to purchase one that's not a club member, late this afternoon, they'll be available for extras. I love this set. Love it. I think it'll be cool to stamp these with different colors. And they're far enough apart that you can ink them with different colors. Really cool. So I hope you guys like it. I never know because I stress about these things. You know this, right? Well, you still have 13 minutes. You want to stamp with that one a little bit? Look at this, dude. Oh my goodness. Ah, love it. Let's pull this out. Any questions I missed? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to do this one. And here's the thing, guys. These thicker, fuller, bolder images, they can be a little tough. And if you're a new stamper, they can sometimes frustrate you. Trust me. I know. I was a new stamper, too. So here's what you do. I'm going to put this onto my block. It's a brand new image, too. By the way, just so you know, I wanted these to be together. That's a thin piece holding that together. I wanted this to be together. But you can cut this apart if you want, okay? So if yours comes together, you can cut it apart and use them separately. That's perfectly fine. I just thought they'd be cute like this. Now, so. Vicki asked, what kind of mat are you using? Mat. You mean my cutting this thing? Yes, I'm, I'm assuming that's what I mean. think it's made by Memory Makers or something. I just bought something big enough to fit on my work surface. So I honestly don't know for sure. So. And let's see, I have another. What's the name of the stamp club set? Um, It's called um stitched sentiments i'm glad you asked that i had to think look how beautiful i love it i did that with versafine i think versafine is the most beautiful ink i just do and i'm gonna clean this off this is my little scrubber cool huh gotta get some off my ink block too stitch sentiments that's the name of it is Lindsay here oh my goodness welcome in dear welcome in i'm glad to see you uh, by the way Lindsay. That peach you painted the other day looked like I could pick it off the page and eat it. Did we not say that? Yeah, I was something my salt shaker. I said, <laughs> you were looking for your salt shaker. <laughs> I said, Vince, look at this peach. It looks like something you could pick up and eat. It was beautiful. If you guys didn't see it, go watch it because Lindsay does. I told you guys just the other day that if you want to know watercoloring, Lindsay's your girl. Oh, yeah, girl, salt on peaches is good, huh? 
Especially the green ones. Especially if you get one that's not quite all the way ripe and it's still a little bit hard, like almost like eating an apple. Woo! Look how cool I love it. I love it. But I like salt on watermelon too, so yeah. it may just be that I like salt. Could be. Versafine smells like cocoa. Uh, it has a smell and I like it. <laughs> you guys fuss at me when I start smelling the ink. <laughs> Stop smelling the glue, Amy. You do. They always go, oh, no, she's smelling the ink again. <laughs> yeah. Well, Christina, if you sprinkle a little salt on it, you sure enough will love it. It has to be a southern thing, Lindsay, because, well, um, I was talk we have a peach farmer that goes to church with us, and we were talking about peaches, and he said a firm peach or a hard peach is kind of like an apple texture. Mm -hmm. So if you think of it like that, and you have kind of a, like a sour peachy apple, it's kind of what it's like. So, all right. That's... That's smoking hot right there. I like that. I love this. I love it. You know what I think would be super cool? If you have the VersaFine inks that just are so rich and beautiful, I think it'd be pretty if you stamp this in like the bride's colors. Wouldn't that be cool? Like, I know you're supposed to, you know, black and white and blah, 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 but how pretty, right? This one is called His and Hers. And the reason it's called His and Hers is because it has lots of His and Hers sentiments. And lots of, and I gave you three different size ampersands and the word and. For anyone who doesn't like that, who doesn't like the ampersand instead, and then you got this bow. Love it. Love it. All right, guys. I think that's it. It's raining pretty hard, which means we'll probably lose Wi-Fi in a second <laughs> before it's over with. So, any questions real fast? Salt on watermelon. So I got to be in the mood for that. Sometimes I want to, you know how you sometimes you crave salty, sometimes you crave sweet? I'm that way with watermelon, period. I either I crave see, a salty one or a sweet salt one. salt on it. It's sweet and salty. Some, but it, but like I'm saying, you know, sometimes you want salty snacks and sometimes you want a sweet snack. I'm, I have to be in the mood. You know, Griselle, that's a Spanish thing, Chili isn't it? Fruit? Listen, that's a Spanish thing. I are you are you from Spain? Are you Spanish? She's French, right? I think uh, I don't remember what we talked. I think we talked about that she's French. But chili on fruit is a Spanish thing. As a matter of fact, they have a they have a candy, a watermelon candy that has a chili seasoning on it. She is Mexican. There, there you go. See, they don't you. What's the name of that watermelon candy? It's um, it it's it kind of looks like a hunk of watermelon with a chili sauce, uh, not a sauce, but like a chili. It's got a dry rub on it. That's what it looks like. Yo, I gotta be honest. I had never tried salt on peaches, and the thought just didn't sound attractive at all. And my pastor said he loved a peach that was a little green with salt on it, and so I tried it. And it's really good. I haven't tried it on a ripe sweet peach yet, but I probably will. Tamitha, what were the prizes? I know she won a hundred dollar gift card. And was this one a fifty dollar gift card? The name of the faith stamp set, um the one I showed earlier was Born Again by the Greeting Farm. Yes, all three will be available. Yes. Now, this is going to take a little processing, okay? Just to let you guys know, um, I have to do, I have to get with my graphic designer, get these all sent out, and get them all done. There we go. Now I know. This one, 150. Thank you, Tamitha. This one, 125 gift card. We'll email your gift cards right away. You'll get the t-shirts when they're made, but you'll get your gift cards right away. Gravy on their cantaloupe? What in the world? <laughs> no, I don't get that. No, I don't think so. Lindsay's not a southern girl. She's up there in the cold, cold parts of Maine. Bless her heart. I think it's still cold up there where Lindsay is. I think, I could be wrong, but it seems like I was watching one of her videos and she had on a sweatshirt and somebody made a comment about it and I was like, but I wear a sweatshirt a lot around, I mean, I might wear long sleeves around the house, so. They don't salt their fruit in Maine, Vince. They just enjoy it plain. It's okay. <laughs> Try it though, Lindsay. You can be a trendsetter, darling. <laughs> you do what it. What kind of fruit do they eat in Maine? <laughs> the same fruit lobster, you eat. Lobster fruit. Do you salt lobster? Surely you do. Do you salt lobster? I want to know. I thought you salted everything. No, you salt everything. I thought you salted jelly. You salt everything. <laughs> and ranch dressing. <laughs> he salts everything. Hey guys, I appreciate Lindsay coming in. If you, I can't imagine you've never been to Lindsay's channel, but if for some reason you haven't, please check her out at the Frugal Crafter. She, you can matter of fact, just link, just click on her. Um, where she's chatting, you can click on that. It should take you there. Butter on lobster. Stamp of the Month Club is $11.99 a month when you are a subscriber. And 
After 12 months, you get a free set, you get an exclusive set, and you get free shipping on any other May May Made It stamp sets that you order. But all of that is explained so much better in the product page. So check out the product page on our website, which is uh, maymaymadeit.com. Oh, Dar, you're so sweet. Thank you. Lindsay's one of my favorites. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little fangirling right now. I ain't gonna lie, because I love me some Lindsay. <laughs> so, but she so knows you, it. I'm pretty so sure she knows. Like, oh my gosh. Lindsay's she does. But I think Lindsay knows, because whenever I talk to her, I'm like, um, hey, <laughs> you're so cool. Anyway, one day I'll be cool as Lindsay. <laughs> Maybe not. That's my dream. <laughs> when you grow up, you want to be Lindsay. <laughs> yes. 100%. 100%. All right, guys, we're going to head out. We love you guys very much. We hope you enjoyed today. I hope you enjoyed that um, mini album. And Thursday, I'll bring you whatever, Lindsay. I love you. Um, but I'll, Thursday, I will bring you the bigger version. We'll work on it. We'll do the bigger version and see what we can come up with. Um, if it fails, you'll see it fail. That's all there is to it. But I think it'll work. I don't think it'll fail. All right, guys. You love you very much. If you need anything, you know how to find us. And don't forget, we always have the um, email, which is info at maymaymadeit.com. And we have our phone number, which is on our website. So if you need to call us, you can. Love you guys. Have a great afternoon. Stay dry if you're in Bama. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>